Hey everybody, uh, I am Adam from Solid Smack. I'm sitting here with Bertrand, who is the chief executive of a little company called SolidWorks. You might have heard of it. And uh, this morning, Bertrand was kind enough to give us a really impressive introduction to uh, kind of what SolidWorks is up to in 2014. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, for those who didn't see that presentation, what's your kind of one minute summary of what SolidWorks is up to in 2014? You're talking about the release, right? So it works 2014 sure, or the company? And, well, I mean, you're the chief executive, right? So let's, okay. let's get both. B big picture and... Okay, the, so the uh, for SolidWorks, what I would say as an organization, um, I start with the community because the user community is really what matters. It's uh, today, it's a large community of 2.1 million uh, users, 550,000 commercial industry, and the rest in education. It's... Um, it's an outstanding, uh, let's say, uh, community of people who have the passion of engineering and design, and SolidWorks is the backbone of that. So we feel that we need to continue to have the mission to help and enable that, that community to share information, get from each other the information they are looking like, being the social link between right. each other worldwide, worldwide. Sure. And okay, so that's the first part, the big mm -hmm. picture. Now with SolidWorks 2014, the release of the software, what would you say is, is the kind of th elevator pitch for this? You know, it's, um, we are reaching a level at SolidWorks. Where, first of all, it, we say it's a SolidWorks 2014, but you have understood it's a, a new release for our entire portfolio, So, which is SolidWorks, 3D Mechanical CAD, SolidWorks Simulation, EPDM, SolidWorks Composer, and SolidWorks Electrical. Yeah. So that's a lot of product that we have to, you know, <laughs> it to is. update every year with new functionalities that are based, by the way, with user requests. Um, around 250 new announcements are in the product for SolidWorks Mechanical CAD only. So it's a, it's a, and 90 percent of them, they are user driven. Mm. So that's uh, very important. We try each time. We I, I don't want to to select a specific functionality out of the others, but each time, what everyone has to understand is that when you have a very large user community like the one we have, we need to make sure that the announcements we are putting in the product are serving the largest percentage of our user base. Mm -hmm. So basically, we are we will never develop one function or two that will serve only 5% of our user base. We right. always try to make sure that we sell, serve at least 90% potentially of our users with that new announcement. Um, That's a high bar. It is. Uh, we have also, as we speak, uh, uh, you have seen the numbers this morning, a very large number of users in using the beta. Mm -hmm. And I can tell you that they are already very impressed by the performances I think and you said 13,000 or something like yeah, that. 13, yeah, 13,000, that's huge, you know. Right. Uh, very impressed by the stability and reliability of the functions and also the, st the performances improvement of the solution. Absolutely, and I've seen some demos this afternoon that have okay. definitely confirmed some of that, and we'll talk more about that later on. Now, I mean, you have, you, like you just mentioned, there's a lot of stuff under mm -hmm. your umbrella mm -hmm. right now. If you could say, like, what is the common thread of new, s like, stuff you're working on right now in, in the SolidWorks ecosystem, what are you doing? I know and there's all, all this different stuff and all kinds of new features, but why are they there? What's, what's the one thing that you would say is the most important priority for you as SolidWorks as a whole? Okay, so basically, okay, we, we um, today we are focusing not, not only at improving what we are doing, uh, and I'm talking here about the product portfolio, but we are also investiga investigating new uh, potential areas where we can have solutions helping our user community in their daily job. Mm -hmm. And there are some new opportunities, namely, uh, you know, everybody is talking about mobility. Mm. Okay, we have new devices, I told you this morning, but we need to look at these new devices such as the PDA or the tablet in a way that is valuable for the users. Uh, yeah, you said this morning it's not just another screen. That's the point. Other things, yeah. And uh, to get the right use case scenario when you think that way, it takes a little bit of time. And while the first idea that you have is maybe not the right time, the right yeah. one, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay. So that's what I we're working. I totally on. understand that in abstract. Can you give me any juicy details about any example of where you're using a mobile device as something other than just another screen uh, to look at? E-drawing with augmented reality. That's okay. exactly that. So right. uh, you are using the device not only to have your model or your assembly visible as, as a viewer on your pad, but also you are using the cameras, the positioning capabilities of the device so that you can put your 
uh, design in context. Imagine right. this mic here, I shouldn't maybe touch it's it, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can be viewed virtually on the table at the right. same scale. Right. So, and you do that with your iPad or your uh, Android. And we covered that on Solid Smack, by the way. You can find photos of this uh, in a previous yeah, post. So that, yeah, so that's yeah. the kind of innovation that you... Right. Uh, and so far, as far as I understand, we are the only one you know, with that kind of capabilities. Okay, so y you talked kind of tantalizingly this morning about this whole mechanical conceptual yep. thing that everybody's been kind of buzzing about for a while, mm -hmm. and there's all kinds of conjecture in all different directions about what it is and what it isn't. Yep. And uh, I noticed there was, I guess... Um, it, to, to put it kindly, SolidWorks was a little bit hesitant to talk about many details, especially to do yeah. with the C word that you, know you mentioned, yeah. cloud it's and very stuff. Simple. Is yeah. there, what new can you tell us since SolidWorks World 2013 about this product? Okay, at SolidWorks since day one, we do what we say and we say what we do, right? Yeah. And it's not going to change. So. Uh, um, at SolidWorks World six months ago, I was on stage saying, uh, okay, here is the product coming. So it's, it has been clearly positioned. Right. So it's uh, complementary to SolidWorks. It's uh, targeting the conceptual phase uh, of our customers, namely the uh, specifically the mechanical conceptual phase of our customers. And uh, it's uh, intuitive, it's uh, social, it's connected, and it's conceptual. Okay. You have here the four key words <laughs> of that positioning. And it's right. not going to, sh to change because yeah. once we have made it public, we are sure that that's the way to go. Okay. Now, as I told you, that solution is in use, is, is in usage and in production with 10 customers f so far, up to 30. The plan is to do that in the next two months. And uh, we will, five months from now at SolidWorks World in San Diego, and I hope you will be there with us. Yeah, of uh, course. We of course. will be very precise on everything. Mm -hmm. l l let's face it. Uh, we have um, tried a few things. The users are telling us good, great, no, not usable, yeah. stuff like that. So we are learning big time. And um, we will make public statement on what it is <laughs> when we are sure that it, it's exactly what uh, the user base is looking for. Okay, absolutely great. But believe me, and mark my word, it's uh, recorded. It's very innovative. <laughs> well, I, I can believe that. I mean, especially considering that we haven't uh, heard you're, you're being, again, very cautious about what we say yeah. about it at this point. We are not here. So you know, SolidWorks has never been an organization to to make noise uh, and no, not deliver what we have been saying. So we, pref we prefer to be a little bit low-key at the beginning right. and come with a good surprise than the opposite. <laughs> I think the industry, the, the industry yeah. in general in the software and the CAD industry maybe in specif yeah, specifically has been suffering too much by people talking, over committing and under delivering. Oh yeah, <laughs> okay. There are some examples of that that we can look back to. I think I've, I can I review know. those. <laughs> so, have, have you <laughs> so another thing that we heard a little bit about this morning was SolidWorks costing, uh, and that yep. we've seen some progress with that. I hadn't actually heard about that in quite a while, and that was actually a, a question I'd planned to ask you even before you mentioned it this morning. Was kind of what happened to that? It's we we heard about it two years ago, and yeah, how has it been adopted? How how has that transition uh, gone? Okay, I cannot answer specifically specifically that, uh, okay. that question, but uh, it's true that two years ago we decided to put that functionality in the product. Uh, by the way, last year we already also uh, improved that functionality. It's like sustainability, you know, we, w yeah. we are really uh, putting new set of functionalities. We know that some customers, they, they do want it they, and they are going to use it, but w we need to learn. You know, it's a little bit going al outside of the pure engineering habits, which is creating geometry, making motion check, etc., etc. So uh, very good feedback. I you have no numbers regarding the okay. adoption. You All can right. ask the people here, they will let you know. Okay, so one more question, and this is my curveball. It's a tough one, Thank okay? You. So, so <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta ask it though, because people wanna know, Autodesk Fusion 360, is that changing your calculus at all in terms of pricing, in terms of low-end no, no. market, in terms of how to reach makers? Not, none of that, $25 a month has nothing, it doesn't make the any difference to you? No, no, the, the question is, uh, okay, the competitors, they do what they do, and that's yeah. their problem, not our <laughs> problem, right? And good for them. Yeah. They, uh, what really matters is to make sure that we do what is right for our user community. And today I can, to answer specifically your question, uh, we have not seen any uh, impact or traction after that, changing the game we are in. 
Okay. Is it clear as an answer? I suppose so. I mean, yeah. I mean, so then as a follow-up, and this can be the last question because we're running out of time, I know. How do you plan to reach... I mean, obviously you said, you know, one and a half million of your current users are students, and I assume most of those are 18 to 24 years old. How are you going to reach the 12, 15, 17-year-old students who are all wanting to use 3D printing now mm. and who can't get access to SOLIDWORKS? How are you going to reach those so people? So you can get access with SOLIDWORKS uh, if you are a student. You know, we have a student edition. So is it too expensive? Maybe we can for get a, For that. a 12-year-old, yes, I think so. Yeah, I think yeah. so. I agree with you. Yeah. Don't make me wrong. Yeah. And uh, But it's true that I remember seven years ago or ten years ago when we started to think about students, you know, uh, we put it at a price where the adoption was good. So if we have to revisit that for younger kids, we will. Okay, that's a good answer. All right, well, stay tuned. We'll have more, uh, I'm pretty sure, from this event. So Thank thanks you. so much, Bertrand. Thank I really you. appreciate it. A production of EBD Media.